Shout out to Mr. Brown, Mary. Mr. Junior. Money Brown. He get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, this is Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have Earl the True Spence Jr., the king of the welterweight division, the WBC and IBF unified world champion, um, a top pound for pound fighter on everybody's pound for pound list, and most definitely one of the hottest fighters in the game. And then we have Jamel the Iron Man Charlo, who is the unified super welterweight world champion. He should be a pound for pound fight on everybody that's looking to be the undisputed champion if he can beat Brian Castano coming up in that rematch. Now, Jamel Charlo has came out and admitted to everybody that him and Earl Spence had a fight in the amateurs. He didn't actually say who won the fight. I want y'all to listen to what Mel had to say, and I'll be back with the great assessment, family. It fucked up Earl about that shit. He run Dallas, Dallas boxing. When is the first time you met him? Do you remember how many years ago? Yeah, it was a long, long time. Before the Olympics? Yeah. Me and Earl fought each other in amateurs. You fought? Who won? I don't want to win. We, we, we had a, a good, tough fight. You know what I mean? Nothing, nothing to brag about him. He talking about nigga. No, amateurs, amateurs, amateurs don't count. Oh, you fucking care about that shit. I was in the juniors, too. We was young. Earl was just getting going, too. Motherfucker stood, man. Fuck yeah, he started nigga. boxing at a late yeah, age, quote yeah, unquote, yeah. 16. Fuck and he's. Wonder Look what all he went through. Look at all he went Number through. Number two yeah. on my pound for pound list. Earl Smith is a walking testimony, man. Yeah. People don't even understand it. the real hard work you got to get through to go through what, you, what, you, what he been through. Man, Nash, I can see Mel put out there that him and Earl had a fight in the amateurs. He didn't say who won the fight, but he said no, it was a, a close, tough fight, right? A close, tough fight, but like it ain't shit to brag on. So. When I look at the situation, I'm trying to make out who do y'all think won that fight, bro? Who do y'all think won that fight? Tough, close fight. Say Earl was just getting started. He was a junior. Now, I mean, they banged it out. And look how things come to fruition. Both of these dudes working with each other. You feel me? So when I look at this situation, bro, you know, Mayo, he has nothing but love for EJ, bro. He really look at EJ like a brother. You know, he'll, he'll never want to get in the ring and glove it up with EJ like he never want to get in the ring and glove it up. Um, with Jamal Charlo. That's how he feel, you know what I'm saying? But if it make dollars, it makes fucking sense, bro. At the end of the day, if you can pick up 20, he can pick up 20. Man, y'all can laugh about that shit or, or talk about who won um, here or there. You feel me? Money is money, and you got to take care of the family. But just looking at the situation with Mel coming out, and he said it ain't really nothing to brag on, you know what I'm saying? They just, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's spawn. You know what I mean? To me, it's like high class spawn is just count, bro. You feel me? It just count. You know? Like I say, Mel got nothing but the utmost admiration for Earl the True Spence Jr. I'm quite sure Earl has the same admiration back for Jamel Cholo. They stable mates. But nonetheless, you can't take away the child following the amateur. So now, you know, us fighters, us fans, you know what I mean? We want to know who won that bitch. We want to know who won. Did Earl Spence get the nod against Jamel Cholo? Did Jamel Cholo get the nod against Earl Spence in the amateurs and shit like that? Because, you know, to a lot of people, they love to go off the amateurs and, you know, build off the amateurs. But to me, the amateurs is just something to get you ready for the professionals, right? It gets you hip for a lot of styles. You get to see certain people that's that's on the rise. You'll know if they're going to be um, your contemporary or not when you turn professional, if they're going to make it, if they this, if they that. Because you see the skill sets on people. Everybody fight different things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm looking at Earl Spence and I'm looking at Mel Cholo, they come up and text. He say, and, you know, um, Earl Spence run Dallas Boxing. You know what they say? Yeah, he run Dallas Boxing. You feel me? But we got to see who run Texas Boxing, baby. We got to see who run Texas Boxing. Houston, Texas, San Antonio, Fort Worth, all the ports around there in, 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 in Texas, man. You know, Earl Spence runs Texas Boxing. You feel me? Earl runs Texas boxing, but that's what we got to get to. That's what we got to get to. And that's why some people say we got to have Earl Spence versus Jamel Charlo. You know, two Texas boy, even though the Charlos, they was born in Louisiana, they moved to Texas. They repped that Texas heavy, baby. They repped that Texas heavy. You know, Texas raised them boys. So when we're looking at the situation where Earl and Charlo now, they spar with each other. Very, very, very competitive fucking sparring, right? Top notch, still sharp and still, and both of them boys come out looking damn good after sparring one another. You feel me? So it's like everything really falls in play for Jamel and Earl the True Spence Jr. And if it comes to fruition that they do have to fight each other, um, they will agree on it. Uh, put the friendship to the side, and and go on and do what they got to do. 
because both of them are, are, are great competitors at the end of the day, and neither one want to lose. Mel Charlo hate losing. We know that for a fact. That motherfucker hate losing. He wears hard on the sleeve. Earl the True Spence Jr. never took an L in the professional records, but I'm quite sure he don't like fucking losing. And nothing. They competitive, bro. They both competitive. So, when, when Mel brought up that they fought in the amateurs, we got to find that. We got to find some clips on that. We got to find something because I know it's out there somewhere. Somebody got some footage when you're talking about Jamel Charlo, the twin, going up against Earl the True Spence Jr., who was the Olympian. So somebody got some footage of that shit. And we need it. We need it. We need to know who got the best of who in that goddamn amateur fight. And then we look at these boys spawn like that's crazy. You go from an amateur fighting the amateurs growing up. 31 years of age. I think both of them are 31 years of age, going on 32. Them boys get into the ring, sparring with each other right now. From kids to grown men, bro. Kids to grown men. That's hard work. That's that that's dedication. And that just shows you the grind is different with these two boys. The grind is different. You feel me? The grind is different. It's that high class shit, bro. It's that high class shit, that top notch. That's why these boys getting paid the millions. That's why they getting paid the millions. You feel me? But I'm surprised Mel Cholo didn't come out and say who won the spawn. You know what I'm saying? I'm surprised. To y'all, do it feel like he's saying it's nothing to brag on because he got the best of Earl Spence and he feel like I ain't finna brag on that shit. EJ, my dog, we was kids then. It really don't mean nothing. But I beat his ass, though. I got him. Or is he saying it ain't nothing to brag on, you know, because Earl got him and, you know, it's like, damn, you know, he beat me. I hate losing. You feel me? It's just the amateurs. Um, I was young. He was just getting started. You know, so it is what it is. We grew so much. You know what I'm saying? You can you can interpret it two different ways. You can interpret it two different ways. You feel me? By them boys being, you know, stable mates and being brothers, you know, Mel ain't going to say who won. He ain't going to say who won. And that's just some real trill-ass shit right there. Some real trill-ass shit. But us, like I say, as the fans, as as content creators, um, some people want to call us media boxing. Uh, we just got to know because... It's um, this our pound of flesh, man. This what we do, this what we do, and this how we bring it. You feel we go come to the end that we go talk about that shit. Now we know it was so long ago, it ain't gonna mean that because the skill sets are so totally different from a kid to a grown man. But we can still see both of these boys in the ring work. We can see their action inside the ring when they when they in that motherfucker fighting and grinding it out. And we know, we know, that this shit right here, this shit right here. It's high fucking quality, and motherfuckers will pay $99.99 to see this shit. Yeah, I'm going to repeat that. Motherfuckers will pay $99.99 to see Earl the True Spence Jr. versus Jamel Cholo, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's the facts. You understand? You got people be riding with Earl. You got people be riding with Cholo. Um, Texas will be down the middle. You feel me? Texas will be down the middle. But nonetheless, it'll make for one hell of a fucking fight. One hell of a fight. Now, we know Earl got... Um, your Dennis Ugas coming up. He on his road of being undisputed. We know Mel got Brian Castano for the second time. He on this road to be undisputed. And, man, it gets no bigger than that. It gets no bigger than that. You understand what I'm saying? But I got nothing but respect for both of these dudes. Derrick James is my guy. Shouts out to Coach Derrick James. I interviewed Derrick James multiple times. He came on the platform showing your boy love, right? And Derrick, you know, he refused to say he want these boys to fight each other because they both are his guys, man. He don't want Mel fighting no Earl. He don't want Earl fighting no Mel. Mel can go to 60, Earl can come to 54, or Mel, if he's victorious, drop a couple belts, and they reign simultaneously. But somewhere down the line, if Earl unified champ and Mel unified champ, it's going to pop up, and it's going to come up, and, and the media going to try to push that shit, and they're going to have to make a decision, baby. They're going to have to make a decision. You know, us as the fans, it'll be a treat for us. It'll be bittersweet for us who fuck with Mel and Earl, right? It'll be bittersweet for Derrick James. It'll be bittersweet for both of them. But when that check go ching ching, when that fucking check go ching ching, yeah, it'll make them boys feel a little bit more better and, and let the bullshit go. You feel me? Let the bullshit go. And for us, we get something great. We get something great. And seeing two top notch, high quality, um, A class fighters go toe to toe, blow for blow, knowing their background, knowing their history. You gotta, you gotta have some big ass kahunas to get in there and fight your stable mate, baby. Not saying it won't happen because it happened multiple times, but y'all yeah, know what I'm saying. It takes hard and dedication to do that shit, to put that, that friendship to the side and get enough for your family because that's what you do for a living. You dig? And, and like I say, that shit create fireworks and it create history. Fireworks and history. 
So, I need to know what y'all think, man, about this Earl Spence and this Jamel Cholo amateur fight, man. We've seen some of the sporting clips. We know both of these boys get intense. We know both of them can fight their ass off. But back then, you know, just getting started, just putting on the gloves, just letting them bitches fly in the amateurs. Who y'all think got the best of who, bro? Who y'all think got the best of who? Like uh, Mel said, it was very competitive. It was high class. But y'all know your boy, Monty. I'm going to ride with EJ. I think EJ won the fight. I think Mel said he don't want to brag on it because Earl got him. And, you know, he's like, shit, I lost that motherfucker, but it is what it is. Earl ain't going to brag on it. I ain't going to brag on it. I know a lot of y'all might feel like, nah, Mel got EJ, and he don't want to brag on it because he don't want to show people that he beat his brother. You feel me? Either way it goes, the amateurs, the shit don't mean nothing. Both of them boys are world champions right now on top of their game, the creme de la creme, and people got to respect it. Shouts out to Mel Charlo. Good luck against Brian Castano. I feel like you go win that fight. Shouts out to my dog EJ. Go out there, beat the shit out of Ugas and, and snatch that title and be one step away from Money Spirit King. Can't wait to see both of y'all boys in action. Until then, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving and everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate? OG Money on Cash App. Trey have to fit it to at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status family.